Okay, welcome to an episode of Frankie Installs It. Today we are going to install a uh, USB charger uh, in this go-kart. It's a Yamaha G22 Gas. Um, comes with this, uh, I'll give you the parts link. Comes with the harness. So we're going to install that bad boy. And we're going to install at the same time the, these are <coughs> signal mirrors with the, um, that just attached to the side here. So we're gonna put these in, one on each side. So to start this, we are going to take off this panel, the dashboard panel. If you can see under there, there's a bunch of Phillips head screws. So we're gonna take those out, and we're gonna pop these covers off and take out these hidden screws under here as well. So we'll take this off, and then we'll come back and show you what's under the hood here. And this is what it looks like behind the dash. There's two harnesses here. There's one's for the oil light sending unit. And here's another harness. So there's two of those. We unplug those. All right, so we located our, um, we're looking for our plus 12 volts and the chassis ground. So you can see where the, you take your voltmeter and you're gonna measure. See the black lead is the negative. It's gonna go in where the ground is. We found that. Usually the black wire and on this, harness here this would be the hot the plus 12 and for some reason that wire is black on this side but we know it's the brown lead going back into the ignition switch on the back side of that harness so you'll connect your voltmeter set it to DC volts and you'll put your key in turn the ignition to the right just like in a car and you can see in your voltmeter you got the 12 volts so we know that's the one we want to connect our charger into all right, now once you've located one you, where you want to put your um, charger hole, um, you're going to take your drill, this is a flat bit, and drill it out. Okay, just a little bit. Be very careful. Make sure there's no wiring or any cup holder or anything behind it, any lights or switches. Just be very careful when you're doing that. And then see if you're, you can get it into this hole. This is a carbon fiber dash here. It's, it's very rigid, but you can carve it a little bit with a utility knife just to get it nice and round to get the um, the charger to fit in the hole. Okay so this charger screws in. You have another nut on the back. You just hold the nut and you turn it clockwise while you hold the back nut so it's nice and tight and snug in here. And then test everything before you put the dash back on. We put our harnesses back in there's two harnesses that we put back that I showed you before, and then uh, we'll we'll check it before we put this back on. Okay, so what happened is we put we we connected everything inside of the dashboard on the unit, and we went out for a drive, and uh, it was working fine before we drove it, and we hit a few bumps, and some of the wires must have come loose. So another lesson: uh, all the wires inside your dash have to be connected very securely. So either if you don't want to do a solder joint, which is kind of difficult inside of the dash, um, here's a nice invention that I used here. These are a great little device. They're called T-Tap Connectors. I'll put the link in the comments where you get these, but um, these are a little bit of a clamp device. So you, you, what you do is you take your lead. Um, in this case, we took the 12 volt line that was hot when you turn the ignition on on the vehicle. Um, we took that line and you're going to clamp it on top of the wire. Now note some of these are going to be different sizes for the gauge of wire. Just look on the sheathing of your wire, it'll tell you the gauge of the wire. You'll clamp it down on there, the first part, and that'll bite in, into the insulation, into the connector, into the conductor. And then you'll clamp this down with the pliers to, to lock it in, okay? And you should hear it snap. And then for the other side, it's going to have a lug that'll come with it and then you're going to just insert the other end of the wire that you want to connect and you're going to clamp this down crimping down with the pliers nice and tight make sure it don't come out and then this lug end from the wire would plug into the end of your your um, t-cap you see you have a little slot and it will slide right in there and lock in so that's a pretty good connector for that um, and then uh, I just taped it up when we're, we're done with it All right, so we're all back together, dash back in. Um, so I'll just check it out. Let's see, if we got power, charge. Uh, we're good to go. Um, 
So we're going to save the other part for next time, the uh, mirrors, the, the signal mirrors. Uh, it's a little more involved, uh, so just wait for another video on that one. We'll get that together. Um, these are nice because these have a, um, these double USBs have a uh, little uh, cap on it for weatherproofing. Uh, so those are pretty nice, and I'll leave the link there in the comments so you can see which one we're getting. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take care.